What if I told you that scoring 90 plus in jam physics isn't about knowing everything, it's about knowing what jam wants you to know because every year they recycle the same pattern, the same concepts, the same trick questions. So instead of wasting time on 89 plus topics or 40 plus topics, what if you focus on just 15? The most repeated ones hello everyone my name is david and in this video i will walk you through the most 15 repeated topics that appear almost every year in UTME exam learn them master them and you are already halfway to 90 plus please if this is your first time coming across this channel please kindly subscribe hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends and now let's dive into the 15 most repeated topics i will tell you what they are how you can master them the first topic i'm going to talk about is units and dimensions yes let's start with basics remember units and dimension is your physics foundation then how to verify if an equation is dimensionally correct that is know how to find dimension of physical quantities what are physical quantities? They are those quantities that can be measured, okay? And we have type of physical quantities, fundamental and derived quantities. Know how to find the dimension of derived quantities. That is, know how to find the dimension of force, acceleration, energy, power, pressure, density. It is then how to convert units. That is, converting from meter to centimeter or from gram to kilogram and also from seconds to hours or from hours to seconds it may not carry heavy mark maybe you might see one question or two questions from this topic but this is your foundation in physics and you will be needing them in other calculations that matters let's see this question <music> next topic I'm going to talk about is scalar and vectors. You must know how to resolve vectors into components. They will ask you in jam which of the following is a scalar quantity, which of the following is a vector quantity. Jam loves setting all these things in exam. So please take note of this. Let's see these questions. The next topic I'm going to talk about is work, energy and power. Yes, this is one of the easiest. Know the formula for energy and know the formula for power and know how to apply them in question. Know the formula for kinetic energy and potential energy. Know the difference between kinetic and potential energy, okay? Also, you know how to apply them in questions. They will ask you to find the kinetic energy of something and they will ask you what is the potential energy of that of the force hitting the ground they will ask you these questions they will ask you these questions please take note of this let's check this question the next topic i'm going to talk about is elasticity think about strings rubber band and all this material that stretches no what elasticity simply means you must know the law Hooke's law yes you must know it from Hooke's law we brought out f is equal to ke that is f is equal to ke force is equal to force constant times extension so you must know how to use it and also know how to solve questions under work done in an elastic string know how to use this in questions please and also know how to solve young modulus and also know how to solve stress and strain we know that stress is equal to force over area okay and strain is equal to extension all over original length please take note of this make sure you know how to apply these formulas in question given please let's check this question <music> The next topic I'm going to talk about is machine. That is simple machine. Here, I know most of you will be happy because this is one of the easiest to okay. Know how to solve questions on the simple machine. Know the meaning of simple machine and also understand your mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, and your efficiency. What we know the formula for mechanical advantage or which is equal to load over effort, right? And we take note that whenever you're talking about velocity ratio, 
velocity ratio has a lot of formulas and we know the formula for efficiency that's mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 percent and we take note that velocity ratio has a lot of formula one over sine theta and the rest okay so know how to apply this in questions learn how pulleys levers and inclined planes work these are straightforward and always repeated let's check this question the next topic i'm going to introduce to you is temperature and its measurements now let's talk about this temperature and its measurements see you must know how to convert from degree celsius to kelvin okay you must know how to convert from degree celsius to degree fahrenheit you must know how to convert from kelvin to degree fahrenheit also know your thermometric properties and how different type of thermometers function please let's check this question <laughs> Next topic I'm going to walk you through is heat energy. Yes, this topic is hot. It's very, very hot. Yes, it's very hot. I can feel the heat by radiation. What do I mean by that? Yes, you know, whenever a heat is transferred without a material medium, that is when we are talking about your radiation. You feel heat without a mature medium. It does not require a mature medium to transfer. Heat. So you must know heat transfer methods. That is your radiation, your conduction, and your what's convection. Also know how to calculate specific heat capacity and no difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity please they always ask this question know your latent heat and also your thermal expansion let's check these questions the next topic i'm going to walk you through is gas laws boys law is one of the easiest topics you should know before writing your exam please take note for this they will take your knowledge in Charles Law's Boy's Law, Pressure Law. They are all simple. That is your Boy's Law, your Charles Law, and your Pressure Law. They will test your knowledge there. So you must know the difference between Charles Law and Boy's Law, their relationship, and also what pressure. You know that pressure is directly proportional to your temperature. Yes, and also in your Charles Law, you know that your volume is directly proportional to temperature, and your Boy's Law. Your pressure is inversely proportional to volume, yes, and also in boy's law, your temperature is constant, and in your child's law, your pressure is constant, and in your pressure law, your volume is constant. Please take note of all these things, they will text your knowledge and also know how to calculate questions using these formulas. The next topic I'm going to talk about is motion yes we have type of motion we have kinematics and dynamics okay but this but this motion is all about kinematics you must know the linear equations of motion you must know your projectile motion you must know your motion under gravity that is your free fall motion you must know all the equations of motion and also when to use your negative and positive acceleration due to gravity and also your positive and negative acceleration take note that when a body is moving and you suddenly apply a brake and the car suddenly stop remember that your acceleration is going to be negative okay that is when a body suddenly stop when moving your acceleration is negative take note of this know how to use all these things and when a body starts from brakes your initial velocity is zero when a body comes to rest your final velocity is zero and when a body is projected vertically upward your final velocity is zero and when a body is projected vertically downward your initial velocity is zero take note of all these things and also when a body is projected vertically downward your acceleration due to gravity is positive 
and when a body is projected vertically upward, your acceleration discrepancy is negative. Take note of all these things. You are going to apply them in questions given. Please and please. Let's check these questions. The next topic I'm going to talk about is also motion, but this is dynamics. Okay? The first one I talked about was kinematics. Now, in dynamics, when you consider what is causing that motion, that is when we are talking about dynamics. When you consider what causes that motion, you know, for an object to move from point A to point B, something causes that object to move. Remember Newton's law of uh, motion. The first law says that a body remains at rest or in uniform motion, okay, unless exerted by an external force. That body will still remain at rest unless you apply a force to cause that body to move. But when you apply a force and that body suddenly moves, okay, and you do not consider what apply that force and you do not consider what caused that body to move, that is when you are talking about kinematics. But so far, you are talking about what is causing the body to move, okay? That is when we are talking about dynamics. Please take note of this. So, you must know your Newton law, the first, second, and third law, and also know your law of inertia, okay? And law of inertia is the same thing as your Newton first law. And also know how to derive equations on the Newton's second law. That is rate of changes of a motion with relative proportion to the applied force, where we got F is equals M A. Take note of this. Know your frictional force. Know how to solve questions. Know the theoretical part. Know your momentum and impulse. Know your formulas and know how to find momentum and impulse in a question given. And also know your equilibrium of forces. Okay. And know how to find moment about a pivot. The next topic I'm going to walk you through is wave. Waves are everything in jam physics. Yes, you can't skip question from wave. You're supposed to know everything under wave. Your sound wave, properties of wave, properties of sound wave. You should know your electromagnetic wave, longitudinal wave, transverse wave, and your longitudinal wave. Suppose know all these things, know the difference, know the examples, and know how to solve questions under it. And know your frequency, your amplitude, your wavelength, your velocity, the relationship. The next topic I'm going to walk you through is light wave. You have to solve the mirror formulas, your lens formula, and also your ray diagrams. Know the difference between reflection and refraction of light, okay? Note all these things, please. They are going to come out. In your exam please that's why i say do not joke with anything concerning wave any topic concerning wave do not joke with it the next topic i'm going to walk you through is capacitors it's very simple you don't have to panic in this topic it's very simple they actually find the capacitance in parallel and also in series okay so and no take notes of formulas related to capacitance c is equal to q over v so take note of all these things and also know how to solve energy stored in this topic please this 14th topic i'm going to talk about is your electricity and how to solve your series and parallel circuits okay take note the formula for current when we are talking about parallel and series connection is opposite of that of capacitance okay take note of this don't forget your power and your EMF. How to solve EMF, please. The last topic I'm going to walk you through is feed and modern physics. Focus on your electric feed, gravitational feed, and magnetic feed. Know your gravitational feed, how to solve questions under gravitational feed, your escape velocity, and your gravitational force. I also find them giving you gravitation universal gravitational constant yes so take note of all these things please take note of these things and know how to solve your with your activity question that is your half life they will give it to you to solve find your half find half life of this and that these 15 topics are not just random topics study them with confidence practice past questions don't just cram but understand it please if you found this video helpful go to the comment section and comment 
and please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share this with every jam student out there i love you all peace out